Hello everyone, my name is Kuzini Koma Pia and on this channel I do videos about my life living here in Australia and I also share different life lessons that I've learned along the way. In today's video I am going to be doing a comparison between the city of Brisbane and the city of Sydney in Australia. So in my last video which I have linked in the description below so please check it out I did a family road trip with my husband and my two kids to Sydney to visit some family and we stayed over there for a few um, days so I've been to Sydney a few times so I do have a bit of an understanding of the city and I've had a bit of a feel of the city um, being the inner city itself and the surrounding areas so yeah, I wanted to do just a comparison of people who are living within Australia and, you know, may probably never been to Sydney or people outside of Australia and maybe deciding which city to live in. And you have considered Brisbane and you have considered Sydney. So I'm going to share from my experiences what I have discovered and what I think about the two cities and my pre personal preference. So I have been living in Brisbane for 15 years. So I am well versed <laughs> in all things Brisbane and Brisbane city. So I might be a little bit biased, but I will share my honest opinion. So what I think of Sydney is Sydney is a big city. Sydney is a big, beautiful city. And, um, Whenever I go to Sydney, I feel like I am going from a village to a city. <laughs> um, excuse me. That's basically what it feels like. It feels like you are literally just going from a really small town into a big city because Sydney is huge. Everything about Sydney is just big and grand. And um, I remember the first time I went to the Sydney Harbour Bridge, I was just so amazed. I was used to like the Story Bridge in Brisbane. <laughs> and you know, the Story Bridge in Brisbane for us is something that's, you know, big and grand. But the Sydney Harbour Bridge is just next level. And just even like the river that runs, you know, through the city of Sydney is huge compared to the Brisbane River. The city in itself, even like the ferries that you get onto in the water in Sydney, they're bigger, they're just grander. Everything is bigger and grander in Sydney. Um, so that's that, like everything is bigger too. I feel like there is more wealth. <laughs> there is more wealth, definitely in the city of Sydney compared to the city of Brisbane. Like where, where, where in Brisbane we say like, this is, this is the rich area. This is, you know, the rich shopping precinct. This is, you know, this is where the rich shop, this is where the rich live compared to Sydney <laughs> worlds apart. Sydney is just next level bigger. And even for, I mean, I love reality shows. There's the real housewives. You know, the Real Housewives franchise. There's the Real Housewives of Atlanta, blah, blah, blah. In Australia, we actually have the Real Housewives of Sydney and we have the Real Housewives of Melbourne. And there is no Real Housewives of Brisbane. So that can just give you a little bit of an idea of when they are showcasing the lives of the rich and the famous, they go to places like Sydney. They go to places like Melbourne. That's just how Australia is laid out. So I find that Sydney is more comparable to other big world cities like London and New York. Um, that's what we have in Australia comparable to those cities. Because I remember I've been to New York City and I remember walking through the streets of New York feeling like people are going to just trample over me like I felt so invisible and tiny and small everyone was moving at like record speed and I was completely overwhelmed and that's the feeling I get when I'm walking through Sydney like I remember I went to the Sydney um like the central station train station 
I remember and this was before COVID so you can imagine there were so many people like I was just like my head was spinning compared to what I go when I go into Sydney I mean Brisbane Central Station like that is so manageable for me mentally I don't get as overwhelmed as I do in Sydney so you know that is just a bit of a comparison of the type of feel that you get you're getting more big city feel you're getting really like you know world stage big city big grand rich like abundance everything and you get everything not only the rich you get all extremes in sydney you get to get a feel of that so um just you know honing in a little bit on that depending on your i think your preference and your personality you might find life more comfortable in Sydney or in Brisbane. If you're someone who likes fast paced living, if you're someone who likes access, like having access to a lot of things, a lot of brands, big shops, big everything, having like seeing, being like you feel like you're comparing to the lives of other people in big cities like New York, London, then Sydney is definitely the place for you. If you like laid back living, if you like things that are a bit slower paced, uh, slower, smaller, everything, then Brisbane might be better for you. Um, that's just what I find. And just going into that um, aspect of like accessibility, I find that you get more things in Sydney. If you like shopping and you like a very good shopping experience, you will get that more in Sydney than you would get in Brisbane. Um, that's, that's the feeling that I've gotten every time I've been to Sydney. Sydney has bigger shops. Like you can have the same shop available in Brisbane, but in Sydney, it'll be a much bigger shop, a much bigger space, and they will have a lot more products. And even there are some shops that are not even available in Brisbane, but will be available in Sydney. So you have a lot more access if you're living in Sydney, I feel. Um, and I honestly feel like, you know, if you have lived in Sydney, Australia, um, there's no reason why you cannot fit into New York City or London or any of those, you know, bigger world cities, because I feel it's very comparable in terms of pace, in, in terms of everything. If you're someone who is moving for, from places like New York, London, look, wanting to, you know, Paris, wanting to come to Australia and you want the same kind of feel, the same kind of vibe, then you're probably better off in Sydney than you are in Brisbane because Brisbane is going to be very slow for you if you're used to, you know, the fast paced life um, <clears throat> from my experience. Um, and then when it comes to affordability, I find Sydney is a lot more expensive, especially when it comes to real estate. Um, Sydney is very expensive to live. Houses in Sydney compared to Brisbane, like you pay higher rent um, for a smaller space. Um, you pay more money to purchase a house than you would pay in Brisbane. So if you're a family um, and or an, a couple or an individual looking to move to Australia and you are someone who is looking to get into the property market, you are better off moving to Brisbane because the Brisbane market is more accessible. Um, I own a home in Brisbane and I would probably struggle to own a home in Sydney because of the high prices. So those are some of the things that, you know, you can consider if you want to get into the property market. And even when it comes to cost of living, you have to factor in a lot more money in terms of even rentals if you want to be living in a city like Sydney. Um, and then the other thing is Sydney now has options. Uh, I've seen the city really grow and expand out. So they have a lot of these very new, beautiful, family-friendly um, suburbs that are, um, you know, outside of Sydney. They're like maybe an hour and a half or two hours away from the city, but you can still, you know, access the Sydney city. Uh, um, 
while driving uh, and even work in Sydney City, uh, you know, using public transport like trains and stuff like that. So you can stay further out and have more affordable living than you would when you're closer to the city. So if you're someone who's really big on staying in Sydney, um, an option that you can consider is not staying as close to the city, moving more to the newer developing suburban areas that are outside of the city, which do have, you know, really, really nice living. And I did get a chance to explore those areas in my recent visit to Sydney and I loved it. And it's some, it's a place that I could even move with my family. That's how much I love the new developing suburban areas of Sydney, like outside of the city of Sydney. They're really, really good. So it's an option for those families who are looking to move to Sydney, but they don't want to pay the high prices in purchasing or rentals, um, move further out. But just know that with that comes longer commute times. And when whether you're working in the inner city or, you know, stuff like that, those are things that you have to factor in when it comes to living in Sydney. So um, yeah, those are the things that I have observed during my visits to Sydney comparing to Brisbane. And yeah, based on my personal preference, of course, I prefer Brisbane <laughs> over Sydney. I definitely prefer Brisbane over Sydney because of my personality. I'm a more laid back, introverted person. So, you know, the city of Brisbane just suits my personality better. I find that it's slower paced. I don't get overwhelmed with too many people in one environment, big everything, shops, you know, big crowds of people. I don't get to get overwhelmed with things like that. And if I was to move to Sydney, I would definitely move further out, at least an hour away from um, the city, the CBD. In Sydney at least an hour away because it gets a lot more laid back as you move further out so yeah that has been my comparison uh, you know if you have if you live in Australia you know please comment your preferences if you've been to both cities which city do you like Brisbane or Sydney uh, or if you're looking to move to Australia which city are you looking to move to is it Brisbane? Is it Sydney? Have you even considered, considered those two options? I hope you enjoyed that video. I will see you in my next one.